morning. It's Wednesday, July 8th, 2020. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Peter Pan Was Not a Christian, and our scripture is Psalm 131. Lord, my heart is not proud. My eyes are not haughty. I don't concern myself with matters too great or too awesome for me to grasp. Instead, I've calmed and quieted myself like a weaned child who no longer cries for its mother's milk. Yes, like a weaned child is my soul within me. O Israel, put your hope in the Lord now and always. The longer title of the story we usually shorten to Peter Pan includes The Boy Who Would Not Grow Up. If Peter were to walk into the room right now, he would be the most teenage-looking 116-year-old you've ever seen. The story was written as a play in 1904. I first saw it on TV in the 1950s, and I was so impressed, I wrote a letter to Walt Disney the next day asking if he had any advice for me about becoming a cartoonist. His studio sent me a very encouraging letter. But what does any of that have to do with Psalm 131? Well, everything really. In Disney's animated movie production, Peter sings the song, I Won't Grow Up. Listen to the lyrics. I won't grow up. I don't want to go to school just to learn to be a parrot and recite a silly rule. If growing up means it would be beneath my dignity to climb a tree, I'll never grow up, never grow up, never grow up, not me. I won't grow up. I don't want to wear a tie or a serious expression in the middle of July. And if it means I must prepare to shoulder burdens with a worried air, I'll never grow up, never grow up, never grow up. Not me, not I, not me. So there. Never going to be a man. I won't like to see somebody try and make me. Anyone who wants to try and make me turn into a man, catch me if you can. I won't grow up. I will never even try. I will do what Peter tells me, and I'll never ask him why. We won't grow up. We will never grow a day. And if someone tries to make it, we'll simply run away. I won't grow up. No, I promise that I won't. I'll stay a boy forever and be banished if I don't. And Neverland will always be the home of youth and joy and liberty. I'll never grow up, never grow up, never grow up. Not me. I won't. No, sir, not me. Well, where do we start? We don't have to speak to the obvious flaw of wanting to remain a child, removed even from acknowledging that responsibilities do exist, especially if it means we might share in that burden. The point is, Scripture not only calls us to leave our childish immaturity, but shows us how we can enter the process of doing what Peter Pan detested, growing up. The psalmist shows us Maturity 101, first page, first paragraph. Lay down pride, hush all the noise, put aside your supposed deep thoughts, and trust in the Lord. Scripture declares that the very beginning of wisdom is to fear or reverence God. And in the children's story, Peter Pan turned his back on this, and too many have followed him into Never Never Land. Let's pray together. Father, help us today to become wise, putting down our pride so we can begin to trust and lean on you. Grow us strong, Lord. We're needed by others, and there's no real strength without Christian maturity. For you today, C.S. Lewis wrote that he didn't think God was necessarily concerned with us being happy in our circumstances, but rather wanted us to grow up and learn to love. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.